Hey there, project people. This is Dan Bell with Intigent. Thanks for attending today's Getting Started with Microsoft Project Online video. Today, we're going to look at creating unique project IDs per project type in the system. Uh, the thing to recall or actually realize with this particular piece of functionality is it is associated with using enterprise project types. And if you're not familiar with those, I do have another video in this series called Project Intake, setting that up. Take a look at that. That'll explain fully how to set up project intake using enterprise project types. Um, you know, project IDs are good because it allows users to reference the projects by ID rather than name. Sometimes that's easier. Um, so if you want to determine what department, business unit, strategic business unit a project is from, you know, sometimes IDs make it a little bit easier to do that. Um, and lastly, you know, this is something typically the administrator can set up for you who does the configuration of the tool. Uh, if you're the one that does the configuration, you know, this is great. You're going to be able to watch this and learn how to do it. It's pretty simple stuff. Look here, if you could, uh, you see this right here, this is basically where the setting is in the enterprise project type configuration. You have just a few settings, the prefix, this is what shows up before the actual unique project ID number that's generated, right? So in this case, you can see for an IT project, I want IT underscore, and then I want a number. This is the starting number. The very first project for IT will have one zero 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 one. A post fix is what shows up after that starting number, right? And then lastly, the minimum digit padding is the increments that the number, the starting number will increment each time a new project is created. Now you can see these are basically the settings we're going to put in the demonstration system. I already created IT marketing. We're going to create finance and demo that together. Okay. All right. So let's get rolling. You can see I'm in my project web app system. I navigate to PWA settings, either settings, PWA settings, or I added this to my quick start. So I have server settings along the left. And once I navigate to that in workflow and project detail pages, I click on enterprise project types as discussed. IT, information technology, marketing already there. I want to create new enterprise project type. So I click on new here. It takes just a moment. And once it does, we can go ahead and type in the name. So we want this to be finance. I want the prefix, remember from the table, to be FIN underscore one zero 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 one. It's going to be the first. We want the post fix to be underscore HR. And basically what that stands for is high risk. It's a high risk project. We want the numbers increment by one each time a new project is created. The next setting I am concerned with and want to modify is new project page should be the project information page and the project detail pages I want available once the project has been created are the project details and of course the schedule since we want to see the schedule uh, we're not concerned about default we're not concerned about departments I do want an image to show up next to the name of this enterprise project type in the drop down from project center uh, we'll just let a position at the end of the available EPTs I do want the project site right to be created automatically upon publish i do want to create it within the site collection for the project web app site i do want users synchronized between the project team and the project site and all of the settings uh, i'm fine with in this particular case we're just going to click save and once this saves we should see finance now show up in the list of available epts like I said, you use your EPTs from Project Center. I can click on Project Center here and click on the Project Ribbon. And now I have this new button here. When I click on New, you can see these are the different types of projects I can initiate here. So you get to see what this process looks like. And now we're going to go ahead and, and um, initiate a finance project here. And this will be my first finance project via EPT that I kick off. Let's do that first. Project via EPT. Not concerned about any other data. We just merely want to generate that project ID to confirm that it is indeed working correctly. And it looks like it's going and creating it. And there it is. There's the project ID. You can see right here created. Remember the prefix FIN underscore, the first number, 1001, and then of course the suffix underscore HR. So far it's looking pretty good to me. Let's close out of here and we'll check it in. All right, it looks like that's checked in. Now, what I'm gonna do, just to confirm that the second number is correct, is I'm just gonna go ahead and create a second finance project. So this will be second finance project via EPT. Right, it's easy. And 
get that done, click finish. And it's hold on creating. And looky there, it created it correctly. The prefix FIN underscore, the second number we expected, 1002. And of course, the suffix underscore HR. Working great, just as designed. We'll check it back in. All right, all checked back in. So again, once again, you know, looking at the projects here, FIN 10001 underscore HR, FIN underscore 10002 underscore HR, working exactly as designed. Hopefully this helped you out a bit. If you want to use unique IDs, now you know how to configure it, how it's going to work for your different projects, for the different EPTs. Any other questions, comments, or suggestions for our videos, please reach out, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Again, Dan Bell, it's Agent. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.